Okay, we're going to walk through the process of installing Picasa on a Mac computer. First thing we'll do is open up a web browser. That could be Safari or whatever browser that you use to surf the web. Type in picasa.com at the top. Click on download Picasa. And if it doesn't start automatically, click that little link that says click here. And then we can see the progress up at the top right in our downloads area. And when it's done downloading, it'll bounce a little icon down at the bottom right. We can either open that up or just click the little magnifying glass next to this progress bar here. Okay, so there's the file that we downloaded. We'll double click on that. That'll open it up in a new window. And then we're going to want to take this icon here and drag it into our applications area. So we'll get the window from behind here. Go to applications. And you can see this is where the computer keeps all of our applications. So now we're going to drag it over and drop it into there. Now that we've done that, we can eject uh, this folder by dragging it down to the trash. Now it's ejected, and Picasa is in with all of our other applications now. Now we can drag that down to the dock at the bottom if we want quick access to it. Close that window. Click the icon. Tell it we want to open it. Click I agree. and that'll open up Picasa. And it also opens up a web page here, so it's hiding behind the web browser now. Okay, so now here we've got an option of having Picasa search our entire computer for pictures or only certain folders, our documents, pictures, desktop, and maybe iPhoto library. We're going to select that first option, but uh, Picasa does something here that I particularly don't like. I find it kind of annoying. Uh, and that is that it will just start importing all the photos that it finds in those folders. Um, I like to have a little bit more control over what goes into Picasa. So we're going to go up to the Tools uh, menu bar up at the top, and we're going to select Folder Manager. So if you don't want it to do that, we can go through and select each folder that it's scanning and tell it to remove from Picasa. That's not going to delete any photos or anything. That's just going to tell it that you don't want it to import uh, photos automatically. Uh, that's if you want to do it manually on your own to select which folders you want Picasa to scan. Okay, so there we go. We are ready to use Picasa.